Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey friends, I'm Caleb and it's time to deck the halls and hang the lights because this book right here, my Bible, tells the story of the greatest gift ever. In the very beginning, God created a beautiful, awe-inspiring world, including us. But when people turned away, God didn't stop loving us. God made an incredible plan to bring us back into relationship. So at the perfect moment in time, God sent Jesus so we can see what God is like. And so in the end, we can be restored. That's the amazing true story of Christmas. We get started in the book of Isaiah. There we go. Centuries before, God had promised to bless the world through one family, the Israelites. But when enemies closed in, everything seemed dark. Then a prophet named Isaiah shared what he heard from God. A child will be born to us, a son will be given to us. The Lord's great love will make sure that happens. It's a promise that can bring hope, even in the darkest places. Time to jump forward to the New Testament and the book of Luke. It's been hundreds of years since anyone recorded a message from God, but many people still trust God's promises including an ordinary girl named Mary. She's going about her daily work when a brilliant messenger appears with earth-shaking news. Instead of panic, Mary chooses peace, knowing that God will make a way for what seems impossible. We stay with Mary as we move into Luke 2. Mary's filled with joy because Spoiler alert, she's about to give birth to God's very own son, Jesus. But an order from Caesar means that Mary and Joseph have to make a last minute road trip. They arrive in Bethlehem to discover everyone else has come home too. And the only open place is with some extremely unusual roommates. Deeper into Luke 2, we meet some new guys, a bunch of ragtag shepherds. Jesus has been born and God could spread the news to anyone. But instead of choosing someone with royalty or money, God sends an angel choir to these motley shepherds. They're the first to hear the incredible news, proof that God's love is for everyone. Let's hop back to the book of Matthew to wrap up. About this time, some wise scholars far to the east spot an unusual star in the sky. They know it means the birth of a king and they want to celebrate, but getting to the party means an epic road trip. No matter who you are, where you are, you can share in the joy of Jesus's birth. That's what Christmas is all about. And I can't wait to see the different ways we all celebrate.